Good morning people, it's Tuesday, Monday was fridge delivery day, the fridge came, unfortunately, it wasn't a, uh, a built in one, it was a, uh, it wasn't an integrated one, it was an ordinary fridge, uh, due to an ordering cock up which we won't go into, but it's in and it's done, so that took up yesterday right today I've had nothing but disturbances I have had one wonderful thing happen the bearing for my milling machine which is not supposed to be available has actually come and this came from simply bearings and it looks to be exactly the right bearing and to my great surprise when it arrived uh, it is a Timken and it is made in America so uh, it's got all the right numbers on it so on, to all intents and purposes it should be the bearing the correct bearing it wasn't cheap it wasn't cheap 220 quid with the VAT so there you go but a lot cheaper than I thought it might be and I didn't even think it was still available but there you go it is still available uh, and this is this is actually from this is actually from Simply Bearings now whether Simply Bearings have any more so we look yes it's from Simply Bearings Simply Bearings in Lancashire Lee Lancashire uh, and that's it so we have it. So, coming up sometime this week or next week, we'll be fitting a new bearing to the Harrison vertical head, which I should probably do with it in place because it'd be much easier to work on it rather than chasing it all over the bench. Right, this morning, oh, it's now this afternoon actually, uh, I took the uh, the flue off. This flue's held on with two pins. Uh, which makes it really easy to, to take it on off and on again uh, and the reason I did this is so it can be folded down when the wind pops up and blows like a bastard but that was more for the uh, for the 8 foot tall chimney uh, which is not on at the moment due to circumstances beyond my control to do with my neighbours and planning permission although I don't actually need planning permission I have since found out uh, so today's job is to insulate this. Now what I'm attempting to do here is a little experiment whereby I cut V notches in this piece of insulation board and bend it round into a circle. Whether this is going to work or not I don't know. But it's an interesting process and uh, having had an argument with two bottles of red wine in a gin and tonic last night uh, that was me and the wife, not, me, not just me, me and the wife uh, had uh, we got rather carried away and uh, <laughs> woke up a bit to get this this morning uh, so I'm going to crack on with this and see if I can't make a complete mess of it which is highly likely uh, it's a matter of it's a matter of getting the the width of the slot and the depth of the cut which I'm doing with the circular saw getting the width of the slot and the depth of the cut just right so that when you've uh, taken a little bit of foam out the bottom the the the, uh, the cut closes up and uh, it becomes curved like that. Now that that isn't bad at all. Uh, I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, normally, when you get when you buy these this flue in in insulated lengths, uh, it's only got one inch of rock wool in it, and it's about sixty six quid a length. I think sixty six quid a meter. So it's quite expensive. Now that I got for nothing courtesy of my wonderful people across the road who've been turfing stuff out and that was one thing they turfed out so this piece of insulation uh, wrapped around it will turn it into a very well insulated flue so I'll be quite happy with that so we'll crack on and we'll see if we can't do it alright I'll bring you back when it's done bye now here we go people just after five o'clock and I've just had a horrible realisation that I have covered the bench with fine foam dust. I've been, I've had a dust mask on, and I've been sewing uh, angled slots in this piece of 
it's this insulation to make it roll wrap round uh, this flue and it's worked very well but what I didn't realise it didn't appear to be making that much dust until I turned on and looked at the bench which is all now an even sort of horrible colour so I'm, tomorrow morning first thing is a big tidy up but I've already swept it out of here most of it but what a mess I've made god I'm good at making a mess right there we are there we are doesn't that look posh it's all done all done and luckily I ran out of silver tape but luckily Michael had some so I nipped off to Michael's and blagged a bit I can maybe just do with a bit down there as well I'll just put a strip down there that's it job done and I'm going home I shall put that back up tomorrow oh look I've got tape stuck to my feet what a surprise okay I'll catch you all tomorrow bye bye now good morning people it's Wednesday, it's a late start, it's about quarter past twelve because I've got to, I've had to bleach out the uh, the old fridge and uh, lob it in the back of, <laughs> lob it in the back of the, uh, of the car and bring it through. So I've got it to unload now. And there it is. Right, look, I've made some space. I'm going to have to sweep that up then. Right, so first job I'm going to do is put this, uh, is just get up, up the steps and bang this flue back on because there's some wind coming, there's a bit of a storm on today and uh, it looks like it's going to get windy around, well around, <laughs> around now actually but never mind, uh, I'll just get it banged on. And then I'm going to have to have a bit of a tidy up so that I can get that door open and bring that fridge in down this, at the moment, totally blocked walkway which means this stuff's got to go somewhere. I'm becoming smock raveled and a friend of mine came to see me yesterday and made me an offer I can't refuse about a piece of equipment if he can get it. Right? Uh, it's being it's being chucked out. Uh, a whole a whole office space is being cleared and when I say cleared uh, I mean put into skips brand new office equipment uh, desks chairs right it should be made illegal they should be made to auction them uh, he said to me there's a guy outside breaking off table legs and throwing them in a, in a metal skip and the rest is just going in a waste skip and it's just such a chronic waste of resources uh, but there you go that's the world we live in today. Right, well I took me uh, I took my little vacuum cleaner to bits last night, took the uh, filters home and washed them and they've come out very nice and clean. I'm going to need a vacuum cleaner although I've, I've already got one I can use at the moment because I've managed to cover the whole bench and everything with bloody white dust so I'm going to have to a really good tidy up first thing. Right, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shinny up the steps with that on my shoulder and I'm going to bang it back on so I'll do that and then I'll give you a shot of it back up and on okay catch you in a minute there she is people magnificently insulated from top to bottom there we go all you do to put the flue on is just bang those two pins in it's like a hinge and you just push those two push one pin in hinge the flue up onto the frame and then push the other one in job done right I shall crack on with tidying up bring you back later bloody fridges hey up folks M8 compressor fixed quick demo there she goes Minor electrical fault, dodgy plug connection, and needed a new fuse in it. Working well. Right, so I'm going to go on to this uh, very dodgy looking, I think it's a, a DeWalt cheap, the cheap line of DeWalt, and it's been partly pulled to bits to try and get the into the motor, and I think the motor's knackered, so that's probably going to be scrapped, but it's got a good blade on it, and it happens to be a blade of the size that I use, so... There you go, so I'll put that onto 
goods outward and we'll have a look at this thing see what that's like the reason I'm doing this is because I need to make some room I need to make some room I need to get all this stuff tidy I need to get rid of that bloody tractor and that tractor right but I'm going to do that I'm going to start in a minute and I'm going to uh, get the bender out and uh, bend some pipe uh, I'll try and get that done before the end of the week I'm going to look at that compressor next see if I can get a tune out of that alright catch you later and there she is folks it's uh, it's Wednesday it's five o'clock the wool fair is cleaned up full of air works perfectly covered in shit of course which not my, needs an air filter so I shall just do some bit of research on the internet tonight and see if I can get an air filter for it but other than that she works like a good one works like a good one right well that's it I scrapped the saw the saw the motor appears to be fine, the gearbox appears to be fine, but the handle's smashed. And to be honest, although I think it's been a Dewalt, it's cheap or Chinese. So I shan't be doing anything with that. So if anybody wants any parts for a Dewalt saw that looks like that, give me a shout. And you can have them. This is our fridge from... Uh, from Driffield. That's going for sale as well. I've got all the guts for it. I've just washed it all out with bleach and she's ready to go into store and straight on the internet so I can get it sold. Facebook local I think. And then uh, I've got to start getting rid of stuff. I've got to start getting rid of stuff. I can't keep all this stuff. It's got to go. I need to swap it for better stuff. What I need to do is get down into the into the bowels of the distant darkness that you can't see at the moment. I've turned the lights off because I'm already halfway halfway out the door. Uh, I need to get downstairs into what I used to call my stores, and I need to get rid of all the stuff I'm never going to use and never going to need because now this place is wired and plumbed and uh, and done. Pretty much everything down there is now redundant, so it needs to go out. It needs to go out. Things like old lawnmower engines and uh, and short lengths of cable and just stuff that I saved until everything in here was wired. And now I don't need it anymore. Right, I've had a good tidy up. I managed to move that forward. I remembered at the last minute that that was still in the back of the car and I need to get it out. The, uh, the UPS is always to combat. Uh, the battery is absolutely flat and there's a faulty condenser on the capacitor, sorry people, capacitor, there's a faulty capacitor on the, on there, look, that capacitor's blown up at the top, that's faulty. Uh, also, around the transistor you can see that the circuit board is very blackened, the battery's showing one volt and won't take a charge, that battery's knackered. So, I'm beginning to be ruthless and start to just... Get rid of stuff, chuck stuff out. Right, that's all for today, folks. The chimney is up, and should it be cold tomorrow, uh, I'll light a fire and we'll see how she goes. I'm sure she'll go very well. But it's uh, there's supposed to be a bit of a storm coming through tonight, and it's pretty it's pretty wet and miserable out there. Although the wind appears to have dropped at the moment. It's uh, it's mainly north of us that's catching it. Mainly uh, northwest Scotland, I think, and and uh, I bet it's a blowing a blowing like a hoolie in the Lake District as well. Right, back on charge again. I made good use of that today. Right, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Good morning, people. It's Thursday. Going on twelve o'clock. I've had errands to run before I came here. And here are the washed filters for the little Nullfest vacuum. Uh, put through the washing machine on high water level and as you can see they've come out really, really clean. So I'm going to pop those in in a minute. And what you may not know about me is that I have a wife and two daughters. My wife and two daughters are vegans. 
which means there is no meat in the house which means I am subjected to a vegan diet whether I like it or not however as I happened to be down the street this morning and it being Thursday and market day in Driffield I went to my favourite store and I bought meat pies from Rose Cottage Butchers they are superb that's a chunky steak that's an egg and bacon this one is a game pie so I shall be enjoying some of those for my lunch but I'll also save some for tomorrow so there you go right I'm gonna get these banged in and I'll bring you back and show you the machine working it's lovely okay bye now right folks you know I'm always saying to you you just start to get on with things and something happens well it was cold and I wanted to try my new flow out so I went to light my stove and I noticed that the copper pipe which goes straight across there across the fire was uh, bent down a bit and I've done it before and straightened it back up I thought I'll straighten it back up straighten it back up so I went to straighten it back up and that's what I found burnt right through so what did I do I went through my steel pipe collection my steel pipe collection and I found a piece that was almost big enough to slip over the outside of it but not quite and so it had to go in the lathe and having to go in the lathe I had to centre up a boring bar and I've now bored it out to the right size so I'm now going to put that in and light a fire just to see how it works and also because it's bloody cold in here today it's actually coming cold it's very clear outside and very bright but it's cold and uh, I've just been hearing on the radio that uh, we could have snow for the weekend so I can't do that I can't do that oh no can't do that either <laughs> right uh, I'll get this put in and I'll bring you back and show you it bye now and that's it folks we're lit and the uh, the extractor's still uh, blowing low and you can see here how well it's burning it's lit very quickly actually it's uh, it's very pleasing so we should be going a lot better now and we'll just go outside and see what the the smoke levels like I and mean, it's not really smoke it's more like condensation it's a bit of smoke but it's beginning to clear now so there you go right let's go back inside Actually, it's quite nippy today. Oh, look, there's a bloody fridge. Never mind. Right. I think we can leave that going now. Let's just see what uh, she jumps up to when I turn the pan on. Now we're beginning to pick some heat up. I've lit it about five minutes ago, literally five minutes ago. Yeah, she's going up. So we'll just let that burn. I haven't got a, a huge amount of wood in, but as you can see, there's virtually no smoke there. That's as much smoke as there is when you open the lid. So what you're seeing outside is obviously water vapor and not actually smoke. Watch, when I open the lid, one puff of smoke and it's gone. That's it. So what you're seeing outside is definitely water vapour. Right, I shall crack on a bit further and then I shall show you, oh, I was going to show you my nil fisk all assembled, wasn't I? There we are, little vacuum cleaner. I haven't got a pipe for it, but I'm soon make one and uh, there she goes a 
lovely example of a very expensive little vacuum cleaner. You can actually, you can actually buy uh, a new Fisk pipe on on the internet for about uh, 17 quid, or you can buy a new Fisk adapter for about a fiver, which is what I might do because it's a four-pin adapter. Bit of a strange, unusual adapter. So I'll probably buy one of those and uh, put this into use. Getting rid of some of my older vacuums. Although I've got a couple of wet and dry ones that both work, but uh, there's one there that's a, that's a little's wet and dry. Now, unfortunately, that was used on <laughs> uh, up in the kennels, and it's got. Uh, the fan is clogged with dog hair. It runs, it works perfectly, but it's got very little suction. And that's because the fans actually get clogged. If they get any moisture into the fans, because the fan is actually running in an area where it can get wet, and it's run without the filter on, it was run without the filter on, but it picked up a lot of dog hair and wrapped it up in the fans, which means I've got to strip that and get the fans cleaned out and there is one screw that I can't bloody get out because it's rusty uh, but that will get fixed and I've also got another wet and dry down here which is an old one but a good one, oldie but a goodie and I've got all the hose and kit for that, that needs a new top bearing in it these are just jobs that I'm thinking you know shouldn't I just throw this out, well I could just throw it out so I only really need one wet and dry vacuum but you see, if I had a wet and dry vacuum working, I could have cleaned the uh, I could have cleaned the lathe sump out with it. I mean, the ideal the ideal way to empty your sump is stick a bucket under there, pump out as much as you can, and then just stick a wet and dry vacuum in and get rid of the rest. You know, uh, instead I had to stick cloths and soak it out. So once again, I could do with three of me really. I could do with I could do with some employees. Uh, there's a mate of mine who uh, is retiring, I think uh, March next year he retires uh, and he's already expressed an interest in coming down here uh, uh, several days a week, stopping him going bored and insane in the house so I might, I might, I might rope him in to get some, get some work done because he's a good lad and he started life as a precision engineer working for a company in Bridlington. Uh, building winches and all sorts for the now destroyed by the EU fishing trade uh, right there you go I'll very soon be able to turn the fan on and put some heat around the workshop uh, so I'll bring you back when I've got some else done if I ever get anything else done next thing I'm going to do is bring all the interior bits in for this fridge and then take a picture of it with all its interior in and uh, then I'm going to get it on Facebook and see if I can't sell the bloody thing, get rid of it, get it out of the place. Right, bring you back later, bye now. And there she is folks. We're drawing to a close now, I'm not going to put any more wood on the fire, it's just nicely, uh, just nicely glowing and heating. It works much better with the, uh, with the flues insulated. It's worked really well. It's put a load of heat into the workshop in a very short time. Uh, and it lit faster and I was able to turn the, uh, the extract off quicker as well. So it's, it's all good, you can't knock it really. Insulating the flu is well worthwhile. Right. So what I was going to start today, and what I'm now going to start tomorrow, after endless disturbances, is the bender. I'm just going to finish it off. Right, make some pegs for those things to sit on, and that'll be it. And then next week, I can actually start back on the tractor again and bend those bloody exhaust pipes. Let's get on with it. In the meantime, here's my fridge, all put back together and cleaned out and ready for sale. All with its nice bits and pieces in it. Right, well, that's the end of the day, I think. Little fish all polished up and lovely. Yes, it's 1640. It's time I was going home. So I'll wrap it up and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now, people. Good morning, people. It's Friday after lunch. Steve Wright's just started, so it's two o'clock. I've been playing at Woodmen. I needed some more firewood cutting because it needs to stand on there for at least a few. I mean, it's been cut. 
for a, over a year, but it needs to be cut into shorter lengths and split and then dry out on there for a few weeks before I burn it. But as you can see below that I've got plenty of burning wood so there you go. I've also cut a, a load to take home for the weekend to uh, just use my little log burner at home. So the workshop's wonderfully warm. It's fairly miserable outside. I've packed it in because it's just started raining. The fire's on. You notice there's no smoke there. And uh, I'm just about to crack on with this. But first, I'm going to have a meat pie and a cup of tea. I've been playing chainsaws as well. Little Chinese chainsaw. It's alright. I mean, it's got something in the cabaret right now. It won't rev properly, but uh, it's alright. It's good. But this one, which is a spear and jackson, which is probably also Chinese, uh, I've just sharpened the blade, and tickled it up, and it's a little hero. I mean, it's been it's been cutting through six, seven, eight inch uh, diameter logs with no problem at all. So I'm quite pleased with that. Yet more plunder. Okay, right. I'm going to have my meat pie, my cup of tea, and I'll bring you back when I'm on with the. Uh, Finally, when I'm finally on with the uh, tube bender. Okay, bye now. That's it, folks. I've had my, uh, my well, I'm just finishing my brew and I've had my egg and bacon pie and my, uh, I think it was called a poacher's pie or something, but it's very nice. And I'm on with it. So, what I'm doing is I'm cutting some pieces of tube that they will nicely drop inside there. I've cut the four big ones. This one, actually, the curve of this comes uh, below that point so I've made that an extra long one. I'm going to weld a piece of strip inside there with a hole in it and just drop a bolt through and that's it. So I've cut the uh, I've cut the ones for those and now I just want some small ones. Now I had actually sorted out a piece of pipe but I better have bloody put it away again. Anyway I'll find that I'll cut three bits off there's some there's some strip there's some nice bits of strip I can cut bloody holes in. Look, little scraps of little scraps of junk. Oh, that's too big. That would actually do it as well. I always save scraps of metal like this because they're useful. You know, you can you can make all sorts out of them. A little piece, a fillet, whatever. There's one ready cut. You know, it's uh, it makes life a lot easier. Right, I'm going to find this bit of pipe that I've lost and then I'll cut these and then I'll get ready, I'll drill some holes and get ready for welding. Bring it, oh it's there look, it's there look, there it is. Right, bringing you back in a minute, bye now. Right people, it's four o'clock, just gone, so it's really past the Rubicon for welding. Uh, and it's really time I was thinking about heading off, but uh, Oh, the, uh, the fire's just not, just nicely burning out. And we're, we're just on 70 degrees on the minimum in the heat exchanger, so we're going well. Right, there we are, they're all cut. And I've got some washers to weld onto the ends of these, so I feel a bit of TIG coming on on Monday morning. So I'm just going to clean these washers up. And then I'm going to get my shit together, man. And I'm going to go. So, that's another week done. Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks for the likes I get. Please comment, send me a comment, you know, tell me what you think. And uh, please subscribe. And uh, thanks very much for everything. And I'll catch you all next week. Bye for now.